Oh, what's going on ladies and gentlemen my name is dylan welcome back to the channel hopefully each and every single one of you are feeling fine and fantastic yes we're joined by the one and the only the gorgeous the irresistible the succulent like an apple pie in summer tanya hello the heck? there you go you like that your, intro your intros are getting more and more weird with time cringe. Aren't they? yeah, yeah cringe, cringe 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 there you go ladies and gentlemen lucky lucky we don't have the hellfire club matching shirts on Cranmar because that would be even more cringe so wait i'm gonna get mine no she's not she can't be bothered she's already told me um <laughs> toy story one two and three tanya's standing on my foot oh that and hurts one two and three ladies and gentlemen tanya's seen them she wasn't here for on the channel of course for one two and three because mm -hmm. obviously she already seen them, so there's no bloody point why Even not? though I'm forced to watch Friends and How I Met Your Mother, so there you go. I give you advice, you know that. I'm like you talk, your, your... you No, you ladies talk about equal rights. I mean, where's my right? Where's my right? Where's my right? The real right for I'm what? I'm being forced to watch Friends and How I Met Your Mother, even though you've seen it. But yeah, you better. Yet you saw Toy Story, and and, and yet I was watched it by myself. Because you didn't even tell me that you were watching them. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh huh. Okay. There you go. I take that back. Yeah. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'm looking forward to Toy Story Four. Now, this wasn't requested. This is what both Tanya and I are going to be doing. A lot of the animations we're going to be doing together, guys. Um, I still don't know if this is going to go up on the new channel. I still don't know if it's going to continue on the new channel and just be on this channel, guys, because um, basically on that channel, anyway, most of the stuff's here. So <laughs> who knows? Who knows? Maybe it's on the third channel, the fourth channel, the fifth channel, the seventh channel. 250, I don't know. 100 channels. It will be there, guys. So anyway i'm looking forward to this um i don't know if there's going to be new characters whatsoever who's your favorite character from toy story um what's her name jess jesse jesse yeah, yeah. jess mine, is my favorite mine Ooh, was a tough one mine has to be buzz now i'm hoping the new buzz light near movie doesn't ruin it for me because a lot of people have been talking shh about that movie mm-hmm I'm hoping it doesn't rock, but my favorite is Buzz Lightyear, only because of the cool outfit that he has and the fact that his dad is evil. I mean, his dad is Zerg. Like, what the... F they just sprung that out of nowhere. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, a, uh, like a Star Wars moment, yeah? So, yep. anyway, guys, let's jump straight into Toy Story 4. Go check this out on full over on Patreon. Thank you for everyone that's supporting us over on Patreon already. We've got 320 plus people over on Patreon already, guys. Your support is absolutely phenomenal. And if you're not on Patreon, you're missing out. You're missing out, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's do it. Let's go. Let's get it. Rock and roll, baby. Nine years ago. Thank you, Tanya. Whoa! It's raining cats and dogs out there. Heads up. Andy's coming. Ah, <gasps> oh, we're back with Andy. Awesome. The rest of you, stay put. Wait a sec. Wait, what? I thought Andy was supposed to be older. Nine years ago. Oh, yeah. What the f*** is wrong with me? <laughs> I swear. I swear. I'm just going to drink this. <laughs> yeah. Boom. Boom. Situation. Lost toy. Side yard. All right. Important question. Do you think that Bo Pete, okay, and Woody ever got it on? Because remember, at the end of one of the movies, she pulls him in and says, I'm going to give you a, a good time tonight or something like that. And she pulls him in with a thing and he goes, <laughs> Do you think they ever did it? I think, Let us know. In the I, I, I think they'll eventually get together. I'm going to put it on a poll. <laughs> I'm going to put it on a poll. Do you think Bo and Woody. They couldn't see what you just did, but okay. Operation Pool Toy. Operation Pool Toy. Got it, Woody. Barbies. <laughs> I like how they've done this. They've gone back in time like this. Yeah. Flashlight. Oh no. Go get him, cowboy. No, no, I see. 
Ah, the monkeys. Oh, uh -oh. Sh shivers. Who the hell's that? Is that the kid next door that used to? Is that the kid next door, the one that used to? No, because he's not. This is nine years ago. Yeah. Exactly. Who's that? Like nine years ago, the kid was still there. Sit. Yeah, but Skid 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 Marks didn't drive. Huh? He didn't, he didn't drive. Sid Sid Skid Marks didn't drive. Maybe it was his parents driving. Ah, oh, this guy. I don't know. I don't know who he is. Oh, they're selling the the yeah. doll. The, um, was ah, that? so that's where she went. They ended up selling her. Bo, what's your name? Bo, who? Bo, how are you pronounce Bo, it? Bo, Bo Pay. I just call her Bo. What's best for Andy is Woody. that I'm not Andy's toy. What? Oh, I think we've got a theme. Oh, we've got a theme for the movie that's happening. Kids lose their toys every day. Sometimes they get left in the yard or... And that box gets taken away. Oh, shit. That's, that's the theme. That's, that's why sad. they went back nine years. Must be the theme of the movie. Because remember, this is the supposed to be the last one, yeah? That's sad. I know. That makes me feel like an asshole for getting rid of my toys. Well, good night. Bye. I know, let's leave a lamp out in the rain, which is antique. Exactly. Oh. So that's why we didn't see her in the other ones. Makes sense. Look at that house. How the f does Andy's mum afford that house when she doesn't even work? No, no. But that happens in all the cartoons. The parents don't work be. and they have. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's of a divorced parents and the dad's rich and loaded and she took all the money. Ah, uh, that's Andy and that's the sister, is it? No. No, the neighbor. No. Or someone's. Is that the girl? That ah, uh, that's the girl. That's right. We saw this, didn't we? Yeah, that was the end of number three. Yeah, it's the. Uh, they gave her the toys, but I don't remember. Who uh, she yeah, was. it was the one from the kindergarten. It was the school. Remember, the, her mum owns the school. Ah. Wow, oh, I, I forgot her name. The little girl. I think I cried at the end of the third one. Number three, yes, I did. Look, it says Bonnie. <laughs> ah, there she, you go. That's wrong. her name, Bonnie. What is her name? Deep breath, Jesse. Deep breath. Settle down, Slink. Good. Just keep him calm until we get word. Yes, ma'am. You know, I'm already enjoying the intro more than the last one. Mm. We're on. Bonnie's <laughs> done with breakfast. Any minute now. You hear that? The town is open. Hi, Mayor, Mailman, and the Sheriff. Okay, bye, toys. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> What happened? Wow. I don't know. I don't keep count. Oh, you don't have to. I'll do it for you. Okay, okay, okay. I get <laughs> What you gonna name it? Uh, what about Dusty? <laughs> Francis? Harry? Karen? Osborne? Karen? Lebron? <laughs> Why Lebron? Where you gonna go? You don't wanna be late for kindergarten orientation, do you? Is that the brother or the dad? Dad. Oh, yeah, that's right. It said Bonnie's dad. Yeah, Bonnie's <laughs> dad. Sorry, sorry. I keep forgetting that's not the sister. For some reason, I keep thinking. You all right, Woody? I'm sure she'll pick you next time. Oh, come on. I'm fine. You'll get Bonnie in trouble. Yeah, but kindergarten's so different. It could be too much for a kid. But if you would... Places, everyone. See? She was right. Oh, no. What's wrong? <clears throat> What's wrong? It's my big girl. Come on, you gotta hurry, okay? She doesn't want to go to school. No. You're gonna have so much fun. Oh. All right. Woody jumped in there, little sneaky. Mm. I knew it. Woody's not there. Woody is a sneaky bastard. Yeah. I'm telling you, he's one of the most sneakiest characters, but very remorseful. Very, very remorseful. I mean, how he treated Buzz, and then in the end, his heart was so big that. He ended up opening his heart towards Buzz. Mm -hmm. And it just changed his character completely. Because if you remember, Woody at the beginning was an asshole. Yeah. 
absolute asshole, and then it's just his character just turned all wholesome. That's true. Oh look. Give it a day, she'll be right. Hmm. Yeah, she'll be like our daughter. She doesn't even say goodbye. Yeah, our daughter doesn't even say bye to us anymore. She just runs in class. She's like, yeah. <laughs> Do you be any more rude? Yeah, exactly. Can can that kid like not eat in class or what? Ew. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a perfect disguise. Look at him. <laughs> Ew, that fork was in the fucking bin. The what? That fork was in the bin. Oh I know what she's gonna create. That character I saw at freaking McDonald's a few years ago. Oh, it's like a, ah, uh, okay, I, I know, I know. I've seen the character that she's going to make. <laughs> a fork with eyes? Yeah, it's a fork with eyes, yeah. <laughs> Do, you <remember? laughs> Do you remember this or not? We got it for our son. For a, ah, that's true. Yeah. <clears throat> and I was like, what the fuck is this? Hello, I'm Forky. Nice to meet you. Forky. Hello. <laughs> oh, now Fork is going to become her favorite toy. I'm replaced, yep. <laughs> we got this kindergarten thing under control, eh? God, I can't believe I'm talking to a spork. <laughs> what the heck? What the <laughs> <laughs> So he talks as well. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Probably Forky. <clears throat> she literally made a new friend. Hey, it's okay. Come on out. That's it. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Look at him shaking. He's like, <laughs> Everyone, I want you to meet Forky. Yeah, what in the fork? Look how long his arms are. No, no, Bro, no, his no, eyes disturbing me right now. He's disturbing me in general. The heck? <laughs> Forky is the most important toy to Bonnie right now. <laughs> oh. Woody, aren't you being a little dramatic about all this? I know. What's a spork? A spoon fork combination. Yeah. Can you see? Look, spoon, fork. Oh, spork. Yeah. spork. That's why they call him Spork. Uh. We all have to make sure. Nothing happens to him. Something happened to him. <laughs> <laughs> he just wants to go to He's like, ah, oh, trash. Well, I guess I'll just babysit him till he's used to the room. Oh, she's not going to see him. Forky? Where are you, Forky? <laughs> <laughs> trash. Trash. So it's going to spend all night on that. Trash. Trash. <sighs> Uh oh. Trash. No. Oh, <laughs> oh shoot. Rise and shine. Forky. Come on, let's eat some breakfast and hit some Oh, fuck. <laughs> What's. Yeah. Bro, not even I step on my kids' toys. Yeah. You need help with them on the road trip? No, 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 I got it. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh gosh, she's annoying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's no trash now. Oh gosh. He's a clown. Oh no. <laughs> he wants to be trash. <laughs> So Buzz, where were you the whole time? Yeah. I don't know, Buzz. I know you weren't around when Andy 
was little, but that little voice inside me would never leave me alone if I gave up. Hmm. Huh. See what I mean? He's changed. Woody's changed since mm. the first one, man. Who do you think it is? Uh, me? <laughs> <laughs> that part of you that tells you things? What you're really thinking? Fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Sporky's gone. Oh no. Oh my. <laughs> Fucking Spork. <laughs> Fucking Spork, I tell you. Can you be more useless or what? Like. Fucking Spork, I tell you. <laughs> Seriously, can he tell me what he drank? No. You have to understand how lucky you are right now. Huh? What? Oh, <laughs> 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 He's useless, I'm telling you. Well, what's your job? Well, right now, it's to make sure you do yours. Carry me? No. <laughs> Andy was my other kid. You had another kid? Running the room was my job. Well, then you watch him grow up and become a... See, told you, eventually happens. He gave up. He gives in. Don't get me wrong. How does Sporky you fall asleep? It, but then somehow you find yourself at... Woody, I know what your problem is. You do? You're just like me. Trash! Sporky, look. Bonnie's right over there. <gasps> Hurry! <laughs> well, what is that? Reminds him of her. Hmm. Ah, so she'll probably be there. Maybe she's there. Maybe she's there. I know, I know. But my friend might be in there. <laughs> Segundo de mano. Second hand mm -hmm. antique shop. Good job. Bo? Bo? <laughs> There's Bo? Like he knows who she is? <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh -oh. the Spork may be my new favorite character. What the end of the heck is that? Yo, look <laughs> at the legs. Oh, sh oh, please don't tell me it's a scary doll. Yeah, it's gonna be. Oh, oh my god. Freak. Oh, god. She's even more scary. Yeah. My name is Gabby Gabby, and this is my very good friend, Benson. This is Forky. I'm trash. Uh, <laughs> our, our kid made him. Used to be in that lamp in the window. Name's Bo Peep. Bo Peep. Why did she look at his back? Vincent, be careful with our new friends. I don't like them. Nah, I don't like it either. May I ask, when were you made? Me? Uh, I'm not sure. Late 50s? I gotta say, you were in great condition. Well, I tried to stay active. I'm Gabby Gabby. Hmm. She wants to cut him open and take his voice box. Because mm. hers is broken. That's why she was asking the question. You sneaky thing. That's why she looked at it. Mm. It's the voice box that's broken. Same. Does yours still work? Listen to that. Let's see it. I bet it's the same type. Houston, we have a villain. She's more scary than Vic now. And that's even more scary. What the fudge? We gotta go. You can't leave yet. You have what I need. Harmony. Stop him, please. Gosh, those toys are scary as heck. Porky, we gotta get out of here. Oh, oh no. She has enough toys from the store. Oh, it's fine. Nobody buys the toys anyway. I can buy that toy. Forky? Where's Forky? Mom, Dad! There's only one Forky. Uh, let's go look outside. Maybe he fell on the ground some. But what would Woody do? Hey, jump out of a moving vehicle. What would Woody do? No time to explain. Oh no! Okay, what is with everyone jumping out the window? <laughs> <laughs> Have you realized in this one? It, 
actually in a in a lot of them buzz more, takes a back backward seat and a lot of them you realize now mm. whereas in the first one he was basically him and woody were the main characters mm, yes true but now woody's just taken over that's mm. Yeah, interesting. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like fun. Be right back, Mr. Cowboy. He's gone. Now she's gonna be left with no toy. Antique store. Oh, that way. She was gonna take you back to the antique store. The what? She was gonna take him back. Ah, oh, the ship. Lisa. Ah! Hola. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I can't believe it, Bo. I never thought I'd see you again. Where's she at in the park? No one. Wait, you're you're a lost toy. I told you not to drive so fast, you almost ran him over. Huh. Oh. <laughs> Gus? Uh, Lefty? Billy Goat and Gruff? <laughs> you need any repairs? Repairs? No, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, nice find, girl. How long have you been out on your own? Seven fantastic years. Seven? Jesus. Be right down! Seven years? Crazy. Howdy, Sheriff. Officer, giggle McDimples. I run Pet Patrol for Minneapolis. I'm back. Carl's getting played with. You guys in? <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's like, me too? Oh. Yeah. Way to beat the odds, soldier. <laughs> Meet your. Oh. <laughs> Poor him. She you have a little girl? No way. Yeah, yeah. It's why I'm out here. Wasted years there just sitting on the shelf collecting dust. Oh, oh, that's awful. If I were you, I'd cut my losses and go home. But Bonnie needs him to get through kindergarten. You see, Bonnie needs him just like Molly needed you. It was just a phase. Oh, you weren't there in the beginning? Hearing Molly cry each night? Will you help me? For old time's sake. All right, all right. Thank you! <laughs> oh. I really like this one. Hmm. I really, really do. Second chance antiques and step on it. I really like this one because now the storyline is developing, but developing in a natural way where it's not like forced upon us like, oh, here, they're over here now. Oh, they're over here mm. now. Now it's showing you the development of all the characters when time has gone on, yeah, and how people have moved on or developed themselves. What well, toys, sorry. And I think it's because it went back and then it now it's come to the present time. It gave you a little bit of both worlds. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm enjoying mm -hmm. it. First yeah, I like this one too. Vincent, are we finished? Oh, that feels great. He won't forget about you. How do you know? You have your child's name written on your feet. Who is she? I think she just needs to Wait. have an owner. That's what she wants. Yeah. Forky, it's tea time. It's tea time. What is tea time? Oh, I'll show you. Just go throw yourself down to her. So she mm. doesn't need a voice box though. Next. I'll finally get my chance. Yeah, Woody. I've known that guy my whole life. Two days. <laughs> <laughs> he's a really cute Literally, he's been alive for two days, so yeah. I've known him my whole <laughs> life. Two days. Yeah. You don't understand. I'm trying to cheat get... the system and get with the kid. Yeah, we know. No, I'll help you with my foot. Get him. <laughs> get him. Get him. Get him, bro. You need to work on paying attention and your listening skills. <laughs> <laughs> How you like that? This planet is toxic. Closing it out to conserve oxygen. In a vacuum of space, they cannot hear you. <laughs> Antique store, here we come. You got six eyes. Man. <laughs> Follow me. Oh. No. Huh? I'm fine. I'm fine. Don't worry. He had a, a, a thing. Yeah, tape. She ah, tape. that's right. Leave this gun. We'll fix it later. Ten four. This will be more fun. Heavy foot traffic at the entrance. Easiest way in is the roof. How did you end up here? I thought you were given to a new family. Oh, you know. She's like a ninja. 
Interesting. What you looking at, Sheriff? <clears throat> oh, uh, I'll just ruin the moment. Giggle, count us down. Five. Count down for what? You want to get to the store, don't you? One. I like the fact that they've um got a storyline with her and Woody now, mm. hey? That's so cool. Yeah. Meteor shower, look out! Woody? Good work, inner voice. Buzz? Yeah, yeah, Buzz too. I cannot wait to see his face when he hears that I found OP. What are, what are you, you doing, doing here? here? Oh! <laughs> Who are these guys? Lightyear promised us a kid. You did what? I... Not a baby goat? Yeah. <laughs> let go of Buzz and come. Not a baby goat. <laughs> Where's Forky? Uh, 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 uh. Forky's gone. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. Okay, let's look out. The parents don't give a fork about him. They're about to leave. Leave, leave me. Oh, how dare they go back in time and warn Woody about the future? That's crazy. Jesse. <laughs> well, just jump out the window. He looks everywhere, but we need to get going now, okay? Can we please leave a note for Forky so he knows where we're going? We're just everything is going. But that sounds like me. <laughs> I'm sure Buzz and Woody are on their way back right now. Yeah, I'm sure they're not yet. No. Stay together and stay quiet. Are we clear? Absolutely. Lead the way. It's so well detailed, eh? Mm. For for a, yes. An animation movie is so well detailed. Are you kidding me? Move you move off. Quit pushing me. Stop. <laughs> oh. Wait until you see the other dolls. Yeah, exactly. That's most likely where your forky. Bro, look how dusty this place is. It's so, so bad. We just can't be seen by the dummies. Not just the dummies. We can handle a cat. No. Of course, it has to be a cat. <laughs> we know the perfect toy to help. Oh look! Uh -huh. Get forky now. What do you don't? Stick to the plan. You need to stick to the plan. But it's Bonnie. She's right. <laughs> Bitch! Scare the shit out of me! <laughs> <laughs> the hell? Oh! My sheep! Just tell me how to help. You really want to help? Then stay out of my way. I'm getting my sheep back. We have to get that key. It's the only way inside the cabinet. You can't be serious. Did you two come from? <laughs> okay, thank God. Uh, you're kidding. The same thing. <laughs> same thing again. Same thing. Uh, where is this going? Shh, don't interrupt. Oh my god, that's even worse. <laughs> Perfect. It's one thing to say no, it's another thing to offer a reason. How do we get that key? Woody's back? <gasps> Woody's back? And you're sure it's Bo Peep who's with him? <laughs> come, come, it's Bonnie! <laughs> <laughs> but it sounds complicated. Oh, it's easy. I'll teach you, okay? Okay. You know what this is showing you? That innocent minds can be manipulated. Mm-hmm. Yep. Just like that. Crazy, isn't it? That's why I say people aren't born racist. No. Kids are the most innocent influential things in the things world. In the world. My friend, no, no, no. He's my accessory. No, no. Look who jumped 40 school buses and led <laughs> back into my life. Hi, Duke. Led back into my life. <laughs> Duke. Duke, we need what the f is that? Oh yeah. What bring? I look like he's getting taken up the butt. It's his toy and my sheep. No, Billy, go to Gruff. Those are my girls. Right now, we need the only toy who can crash us onto Gabby's cabinet. One who jumps and crashes. Kaboom! Who's the greatest of the great white North? Kaboom! Can you do the jump? Yes, I Canada. <laughs> How do we get that key? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just like that. It's hard. Very difficult. <laughs> yeah. 
So you're welcome. All right, let's go. They're gonna stuff something up here. I can just feel it in my bones. So, how long have we been here? I don't know, a couple of years. You've handled this lost toy life better than I could. Oh, Sheriff. I think you'd make a great lost toy. You're leaving? Sure am. You ever think about getting out there, seeing the world? Without a kid? I thought, well, maybe, uh, maybe you were inside. And so I, uh... Yeah. Hmm. Will you look at that? What, you didn't like the crazy dummies? No, yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's gonna be quite a jump for you and Duke. Let's kaboom. It'll be fine. Duke's the best. Yeah, at crashing. Go! Whoa! I can't do this. I'm sorry, Rizzo. No, whoa, no, 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 no! Him. Hi. Wait, it's an actual. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep, they know they're there. That's why. There's a setup. Uh -oh. Okay, we can go now. No. Woody found me. Take the puppy. I'm too cute to die. Yeah. Oh. Whoa. You're my favorite. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> oh, Bonnie's backpack? Uh-oh. Did you realize what it is? What? Bonnie's backpack. Yeah. Bloody Forky. That was the whole point of going there. Dude, that was the whole point of going there, yeah. was to get Forky. Give him so. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Forky's still in there. If we hurry, we can get him before they lock him up. You want us to go back in there? The and we outnumber them, so we have the advantage. Woody, look at us. Why? Just because. Why? Because it's all I have left to do. I don't have anything else. Bonnie needs Forky. No, you need Bonnie can't be just about the one you're still clinging to. Mm. I'm not the one who's lost. Mm. Let's get out of here. We've got a carnival that leaves in the morning. I, I, knew, I knew eventually they were going to get into an argument about something similar to that. Yeah, I knew it. Because woody right now is basically the only one that's focused on getting forky back i mm. need to understand that he needs forky to come back because she absolutely loves forky but also what is morally right what's the right thing to do rescue forky get forky back train forky to understand not to run away yeah but, but yet at the same time He's also being selfish, completely selfish. I would say, <sighs> look, she's going that, to forget about Forky in a week. Stop Forky. He wants to stay there. He can stay there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but at the end of the day, too, it's like this toy Forky was a representation of what it meant to her when everyone was basically avoiding her and she was feeling lonely and lost and Forky brought that happiness to yeah. her on that first day of school and this is why it's hard to explain to your mum and dad like like my mum and dad your mum and dad yeah when you were younger when you're a kid and you have something that you love so much and yet your parents don't necessarily give a crap because to them it's nothing yeah but to you that one thing or that certain thing means everything Mm -hmm. And when it's lost, damaged, or you can't have it anymore, it's like the world comes crashing down on you and you feel like, you know what I mean? You feel like you just want to jump in a box yourself and just hide, yeah? yeah. And that's what it's like as a kid when you when your parents don't understand what something means to you or people in general don't 
understand what something means to you, yeah? Whoa. Bye, Woody. Good luck with Bonnie. And because that thing means so much to him, people don't understand because it's not them. Look, look at look at Bo. Look at Bo and her sheep. Yeah. So now she's got her sheep and she's basically saying, no, fuck I'm done. Like, no, nah, that's not how it works. That's not how friendship works. Mm. Woody. I don't leave toys behind, Buzz. Yeah, but Woody, you're actually leaving. Not now, not ever. <laughs> Woody, you're leaving me. Yeah. And he left me behind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Hello, Woody. That being there for a child is the most noble thing a toy can do. See, that's what I said. You've been there through all their ups and downs. Was it as wonderful as it sounds? All I want is a chance for just one of those moments. Just leave me, Forky. Bonnie needs him. Hmm. Where's Woody? And Forky. We have a situation. They need to be extracted from the antique store. Bonnie's backpack. It's okay. Any minute now, Bonnie will notice her backpack is missing. Okay, looks like we have everything. You good, Bonnie? Yep. Oh no, my backpack! I left my backpack in the antique store. He was way out. You line. no, you abandoned him. him I didn't like what she did, what they did. Head to the middle. When the carnival leaves tomorrow, we'll hide right there. Treats you like that? Get set. He only cares about himself. No. <laughs> hey, hey, Bob, what's the plan? Don't get in here. Get in. Oh, we're going back. We, we just got here. You heard, Bo? We're going back. There we go. See, yeah. they did the right thing. Yeah. Did the no. right thing. I want that sewing machine. My mom's got the same one. Your mom? Yeah. That antique one, yeah. Get in there. I thought it was shut. This place. I thought the place was shut. Yeah. Oh no, Forky. Look, there's harmony. Oh, this is it. We're going home, Forky. Oh no. Nah. <laughs> Take it. <gasps> there you go. Oh. That that's funny Forky. and sad at the same time. Oh, I found him. Now buzzes. See, Buzz has got such. Buzz. Woody's got such yeah. a big heart. Look, he's thinking about helping her. Carousel. Yes, meet me at the carousel. Got it. Hey, Gabby. You can have your voice box. Harmony was my chance. My time's over. No, it's not. Just listen to him. <clears throat> Do you hear that? There's a whole world out there. There are plenty of kids out there. Hmm? And one of them is named Bonnie. Sit on a shelf the rest of your life, you'll never find out. Hmm. Really. Exactly. Come on, Gabby. Let's get you to Bonnie. How do we do that? Oh, we could. We're uh, not sending Dad to jail. <laughs> this bloody unicorn just wants Dad in jail, bastard. <laughs> I have an idea. Gosh. <laughs> yes, yes, we, we can. What? What is it? <laughs> I can do it my eyes closed. Sam beautiful. <laughs> this is for you, Bishop. Oh sh kaboom. Gabby? I think she's lost. Are you 
sure? Hmm. Change of plans. <laughs> How is Bonnie still a slave? It's just like you said. This is the most noble thing a toy can do. Hmm. Not, not, not too far. That's it. Hmm. Hmm. And then I found this doll. You did. Her name was Gabby Gabby. Oh, we actually did that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. That's what I told you about people that do cruel <laughs> things. Are we home? <laughs> huh? Dad's totally going to jail. <laughs> See, that, that, unicorn's, that unicorn's able. <laughs> this is evil unicorn. What the? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Joel. I'm glad I got to see you again. Hmm. I don't understand. Why didn't they go with them? Hmm. Hey, listen oh, to your inner voice. Wow, so this is how it ends. This is how Toy Story ends. Hmm. With Woody splitting up. With the whole gang. Hmm. That's crazy. Wow. <laughs> I'm quite surprised at that ending, actually. Ah, so that's why they were focusing on her being the sheriff. So we're, we're getting clues given to us mm. and we didn't even know. <laughs> the directors gave us clues. Mm. The writers as well. <laughs> we're Forky. So you she had. Who's watching the doors? Uh oh. Zip. He's not lost. Not anymore. Hmm. Toy Story 5 The Lost Toys. I think if. Um, is, is, there, is there anything else about Forky doing something or what? <laughs> oh, Knifey? <my> God. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh my god. I am a. We are all toys. Trash! How am I uh, alive? I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that's it, I think. Yeah. Look, I'm going to admit, like, if Tanya wasn't here. I would probably get more emotional on this movie because, like, of course, uh, when Tanya's here, I'd rarely get emotional. Why? Because you're a man. Yeah. <laughs> and men don't cry. No, I just, I feel weird because Tanya is, is, Tanya really cries at these sorts of things, yeah, and I'm probably more the emotional one when it comes to it. But, yeah, well, Oh, no, just... I got I got really emotional on this one. I it almost got me like mm. it, I had the little bump in the throat. Yeah. It was it, it it's at the end the reason why it's is because you realize that when you it's not necessarily about us myself thinking about toys and growing up and forgetting about the toys in this one at the end there it's it's more or less when you leave your nest which is basically something you're most comfortable at whether it's your parents living with your parents and that moment that you decide to leave 
and go experience the real world i felt like that was similar to what woody was doing Mm. and it is a big moment for us all of us in general when we first leave the nest and that's our parents house yeah Mm. and we experience the real world it's 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 emotional because you don't know what the world's going to do to you if it's going to eat you up alive or not but that's the beauty of it yeah you don't know what's going to happen and i feel like he was leaving his friends behind but for the love of his life yeah Mm -hmm. for his love and i felt i felt somewhat myself inside of woody then because it's very similar to what i did i sacrificed and i left the country that i was comfortable in yeah i may not have liked living there at the time yeah but i was comfortable but i did it because of you yeah my wife i did it and i decided that it was the best because it wasn't myself i expanded as a person i i was able to not necessarily change even though i did but i was able to experience a world that i never thought i would ever experience Mm -hmm. and it's it's brought joy and moments into my life that can't be replaced by anything yeah and memories that will last for a lifetime when i'm dying and on my deathbed i'll remember a lot of these things yeah and i feel like with woody a lot of the things that he's going to experience being out there, especially being with someone he loves, and he knows that he doesn't need to rely on getting handed to another person, another person hopefully plays with him. Mm -hmm. Whereas now he doesn't need it, yeah? Because he's got the person he loves right there because that's the love he needs. He doesn't need the love of another child because like i said bo pete's his love yeah <clears throat> so tanya's my bo pete so you'll have you you'll have your toys for me exactly <laughs> exactly spot on yeah that's that's one of the main the main stories here one of the main morals i think but also another big yeah let's call it moral go go moral is yeah, is that the right word or not? Yeah, 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 yeah. But you have to explain to me what the what it no, is. No, I said another one we can get is from Gabby. Gabby. Yeah, I explained that one. Yeah. Gabby, she was spending her whole life Trapped. trying to get or look perfect mm-hmm. for perfect. the girl that she thought was the one to be her owner. She was basically too so she wasn't comfortable about the way she was because she was born different she was born with a faulty yeah fault yeah and she thought that because she was different from the rest of the toys she couldn't talk properly she thought that oh let's let's hide until i can level myself up to the other toys i can be the same as the rest mm. And then it was heartbreaking because, I mean, at, at first I laughed because I thought, oh, look, yeah, like you've been evil for nothing. But then it's it's sad if you think about it because it is, it is. she just wanted an opportunity to to be like the rest and of I the could dogs. Tell, I could tell that straight away when she was explaining the story. Yeah. And it's like that was the whole motivation behind it. Mm. And what Woody did was like incredible in itself. Woody literally, like, every single movie that I've seen, he sacrificed himself with so much. It's it's, yeah. it's truly incredible. Because he knows that his mission in this world is to make kids happy, yeah. children happy. And he will do anything for yeah. that, yeah? He, he's a very, um, I would say... Uh, I, I know what you're talking about. Um, He's very um, committed. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a that's not the word. It's but... a trait that it's a trait that some people have when it comes to, um, putting yourself second to others, and especially when it comes to it's sort sort of like loyalty to friends and mm. things like that. Loyalty it's very to loyal, people. yeah, you can say that. It's when he's got a, a, a children. He's or, very remorseful. Yeah. Let's just put it no, like loyal, that. loyal. He's very loyal toy. Like the rest they don't they didn't really they didn't really have a big role in this one, the other toys. No. Just no. buzz at the end, yeah, he ran to to Woody to help him, we but didn't that's even it. get to see Spanish buzz. Nothing. I was <laughs> waiting for Spanish buzz. I was waiting for <laughs> flamenco. <laughs> Spanish buzz. Oh gosh, yeah. So um, I don't know. It, it's like this movie showed that um, you don't have to like try to change who you are for so, for someone else. No, of course. You have to be yourself, and 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 that's it. And yeah, I mean the story. As I said, the story with Gabby. That to me, that was very important because it shows you like how a lot of kids feel a lot of kids hide from society because they're different or or they don't fit in with the rest Correct. of the kids yeah and they hide yeah and they try to change who they are just to fit in yeah and that's what she did and then and she did so all important. that and the the, the 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 ungrateful body harmony kid she goes no nah, i don't want it and that's that's what you get sometimes. Well, you try so hard to change to fit and in, and then when you you go out there, you just get a hit on the face, and you realize, why am I changing for the wrong people? Why am I changing for these people? They don't and, deserve it. And look, that's this Stop is why it. this is why I say it's so important, right? And I'm I'm not judgmental to parents or their parenting, but it's so important as a parent to help kids with these things. It's so important to explain to kids these things. Hmm. Explain it to them as a level, not just as a parent, but as a fucking human. Explain it to them because they need that explanation. That's why a lot of kids, they, they have trouble at school. They they have trouble with like suicide and things like that at a very young age because the explanation is not there. Hmm. There's parents that are too scared to talk to their kids about things. They feel like they don't know what to talk to about it to, to help the kids. But even a simple thing to just say, it will be all right and go up to a kid, to your child, and put your hand over their shoulder and, or, or, you know, or a scruff of their head. Talk to your kids because they, they need that. Yeah. Even if you think that they don't, they do. They absolutely do need that. Yeah. Because there's, there's things that kids battle through when it comes to all sorts of things and yet when we were younger when in the in the 90s we got taught hey, bottle your emotions do it because that's what that's what you do because that's how you grow up and you get tough hmm. that's bullshit it it scarred me keeping myself bottled when it comes to my emotions and things like that it absolutely scarred me and i guarantee you there's people out there that are absolutely scarred yeah. And you know they are. Yeah. Because then they get old and they say, back in my day, we were tougher. No, you're fucked up. You're scarred if you're talking like that. No. Because people told you don't act this way. To feed in. To feed in. And then as you got older, kids, you know what I mean? Like when kids start to express themselves, people say, oh, back, back in my day, we wouldn't do that. No, exactly. Yeah, well... Back in your day, freaking they chased you around freaking streets with big two by fours. Mm. Teachers, literally, teachers smacked kids with big pieces of freaking planks of wood. That's what I mean. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like that's not the way it should be, and that's bullshit. Yeah. You can, you know what I mean? Like you can teach kids so much just by talking to them. You can teach them so much. Just by being there for them, being supportive to them. You know what I mean? It's mm, That's very important. That's the key f to everything. It's crazy, man. That's the key it's to absolutely everything. crazy. No, I enjoyed this. I really did enjoy this. Especially, like I said, uh, Woody and Bo Peep. I, I love that. I yeah. absolutely love that. And for me, personally, I'm giving this an 8 out of 10. 
maybe a nine. I'm giving this a nine. Yeah, I was thinking about a nine. I'm giving this a nine out of ten, ladies this, and gentlemen. This one and number one to me are the best ones. Yeah. And usually with movies, it's the the opposite. Like the the number one is usually the best, and then they yep. they degrade until they horrible. But now that's with why this I was one, surprised with this yeah, one. This I one was, was really really one. good. If if not, maybe on par with the first one. Mm. Maybe on it's, par with the first mm, one. It's there, there. That's what so I mean. I'll be intrigued to see what Lightyear is all about. That's the next one we're watching, guys. We're watching that this month as well, Lightyear. So we thought before Lightyear, we'll have to watch number four, Toy Story. So yeah. Anyway, guys, yeah. there you go. Thank you very much. Let us know what you think down in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinion. As always, go ahead over to Patreon if you want to watch this in full. It's down in the description down below. And we'll speak in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye.